Hello, I'm Dr. Amanda Stout, climate scientist for the National Wildlife Federation. Our thoughts and prayers are with those families across the Midwest who have been dealing with the massive flooding in recent weeks. We are especially concerned because many of these communities are dealing with the second major flood in just 15 years. I've been examining the latest science about factors contributing to heightened flood risk, namely global warming and the poor management of regional rivers, floodplains, and watersheds. While no single weather event can be attributed to global warming, it's critical to understand that a warming climate is supplying the very conditions that fuel these kinds of weather events. It's a fact that warmer air can hold more moisture. In the upper Midwest, the frequency of the most intense rainfall events has increased by 20% since the late 1960s. And the trend is expected to continue. By the end of the century, those big storms that historically only happened once every 20 years in the Midwest will be striking once every four to six years. At the same time, the losses from major floods have been compounded by over-reliance on levees and other strategies for taming rivers, which in turn encourage development in flood-prone areas. Modifications to the landscape and to river channels also allows water to flow downstream more quickly, contributing to bigger floods. Because floods and severe storms are among the most costly kind of weather and climate disasters in the United States, together costing the country more than $115 billion since 1960, it is high time that we take steps to reduce our risk. This means both cutting back on global warming pollution and reevaluating how we manage our rivers, floodplains, and watersheds. You can see my complete analyses at www.nwf.org news.